Hi. I lost a bet. Because I lost a bet, I have to do what I have to do. Which is, of course, play the robot game. This game contains scenes of explicit violence and gore. Is there an intro cutscene? Like, I just want to get everything set up real quick because I don't have it, like... I don't have it set up. Okay, it looks like there's an intro cutscene. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, yeah, that still works across all things. Thank you for two months, Chrono. Don't. I need to set this up real quick, and then we're gonna go back to the, uh, the intro screen, because I didn't do this. Capture specific window. Window. That one. Alright! That's set up. Movement shooters are great. I- I know nothing! about this game. I shouldn't do this right. I'm not gonna do that right now. No, no I'm gonna fucking, fucking close it. Happy Friday. Thank you, Jim. Thank you for six months. Half a year. You move, you shoot, and you sometimes punch. I think you're in for a good time. I don't know what it is. Easy enough to understand, right? I mean, I was kind of like shocked when I read the fucking the Steam page and I see reviews from like not publishers. Not like journalism websites, but instead Markiplier, Civi, and Germa. <laughs> that's like... That's a pretty big endorsement, I'd say. <laughs> Whenever you're putting fucking... Yeah, yeah, the Germa. Whenever you're putting Germa in your, like, Steam review section. That makes me, like, scratch my chin. I'm like, all right, what's going on here? <laughs> Same with Markiplier. It reminds me of Undertale. How, like, uh, Toby Fox took all the worst parts of reviews and put those in his review section. I hope more games do this, but they just, like, put random bullshit in their review section. And then because I lost the supplementary bet... I now have to do this on the second highest difficulty. I'm not going to do it on the highest. But uh, that's going to fuck me up. And then, to top everything off... I've only slept for three hours. So, uh, my brain is not exactly open to, uh, being stimulated currently. Why? I've done the thing that gamers do, and I have, uh, as the gamers say, become invested in an MMORPG. Just eaten years off my life. 
lovely knowing you. We'll miss your streams. Ah, no, no, you won't. No, you won't. You're just saying that. 14? Yeah, it's 14. Did Savage Prog consume you? Not yet. It does on Sunday, though. Then it consumes me. The bet, I'm curious. I literally just, like, died again. After saying I wouldn't die again. And then I died. And I was like... Because I was like, you know what? If I die again, I'll do Ultra Kill on the second highest difficulty. And then I, I, then I fucking died again. Becoming a Black Mage? No, I'm going in as a Reaper. What? I say we get to it. Because uh, I do plan on doing... Apparently, Act 1, because Act 2 just came out, I guess. Today. So, of course, it's too fucking big. I always forget the fact that it's just too fucking big. I don't, I don't know what that is. There it is. That's also not Ultra Kill. There we go. I was gonna do like the setup. And then I saw that it did this. And I was like, okay, this is pretty fucking cool. So now I get to calibrate the audio. You've played Ultra Kill before, right? No. I've never played this game. Video. Rough pixelated warping. Smooth, clear, easy to read. I think I'll take easy to read. Accessibility. Well, I can't pick fucking these two. So I guess second hardest is just standard. <laughs> One review said this game is like if cum had gameplay. Controller detected, auto aim recommended. I mean, I'm not going to use my controller. Operation complete, primary settings updated, assist options available in pause menu. All systems operational. Loading status update. Machine ID V1. Location approaching hell. Current objective, find a weapon. Mankind is dead. Blood is fuel. Hell is full. Oh, I need to unplug this or it's just going to make me auto walk everywhere. Ooh. Very subdued game, I feel. I feel like this is going to be a really chill game. With a name like Ultra Kill, it's probably, you know, it's probably just like a fun little game. Okay. This is the only way to regain health. Can I heal off corpses? Oh, no, it has to be fresh blood. That's right. You can wall jump. Okay. You know, like a really chill platforming game, I feel. like Kind of like Super Mario 64. New blood present. Oh, fuck me. All right, RC. Gun. <laughs> what the music stop? Why the? Can I go back? Why the music stop? What's? There's nothing in this room, right? 
I don't want to take the gun. Hit C for me. C doesn't do anything. I'm hitting C. Yeah, okay. Is that a parry or something? Did I do a super move? What is that? Into the fire. Do I have ammo? I probably don't have ammo. Okay, yeah, sure. Yeah, fuck it. Whatever. Yo, fuck it. Just kill him. Punch him. I don't care. Whatever. Shredded. Supreme. By falling? I need to remember I can air dash. What the fuck is going on? I can't do this on like three hours of sleep. This is what drugs feel like. Punch a projectile to deflect it. Oh my god! They've done it. We live in like the cyberpunk future. You can just buy LSD and put it in your brain. Taking damage temporarily reduces your max HP. Hard damage recovers faster when playing stylishly. Whoa. Whoa. What the fuck's going on? Why does the game laugh at me? I need to, I need to like focus. I can't do it. I'm so I'm so sleep deprived. This is gonna be hell. Especially if I keep jumping off the ledge. Do it. Never mind. All right, that's the slam. Head. Head. Malicious face. Am I winning? You are in hell. That's fuck. I am in hell. B S A. One restart though. There were secrets in that game. Use points at shop to level new. Okay. Revolver. Press Alt Fire to throw a coin. Hit an airborne coin to deflect your shot into the nearest enemy weak point. Coins can be chained. What? Fucking what? That's pretty generous, too. The meat grinder. Is that God? Where are you, God? You Satan. It fucking launches them. It launches them in the air. Hello? Who was that? Blood Ripper. Fuck.
Right, I don't need to reload. Right. I need to... I, I hit R, like, instinctively. Okay, yeah. That's good. That's good game design right there. That's environmental. There's no tutorial. I know just from playing that that's bad. Man. This game's fantastic. Hello? The sword man. Right. I can't shoot through that. Headshots. Headshots. And those count. I forgot. I forgot I'm playing Devil May Cry, too. Oh, I don't want to be the crusher. I can't, like, read chat. I can't read anything. I need to just play the game. I probably missed secrets on that one, too. S. Ah. Sass? Sa. You will get other weapons that interact with the coin. Use all four coins at once. Beat the secret encounter? Enemies? Lesser husk. Well, their tall stature may seem intimidating. Strays are afraid of most danger and will try to, uh... Oh, no, that's a stray. So his safe distance only attack projectiles form the hell energy. Although controlled and manifesting this energy is a complicated task, strays have very low intelligence and they're only able to do so via pure instinct. That least humans are unable to replicate this level of action and control, particularly the strays' ability to cause energy orbs to cyclically ignore other husks. Most ones will be effective against them, but revolver headshots quick way to eliminate a stray. Due to their static nature, slowly attacking their except for targeting projectile parrying. Its name is Filth. Physical manifestation of souls in the dam. The physical form is based on the original value of a soul, which is determined by the strength and its of its will and its prevalence to the public consciousness. It's living souls that the living souls that remember it. Souls are too weak and unimportant, even complete a physical body. Even among the husks, they are the lowest intelligence or by pure hunger. The powerful gels in sheer number can overwhelm target quickly. Explosives are the most effective way to take them out. I don't have an explosive though. Sandbox. Empty level can use for practicing. Cyber grind. Endless survival mode. Wait. They're they're equi they're both equipped at once. Oh, it, it chains. It chains together. Oh my god, I'm like a kid. I'm a kid with a high-powered gun. This feels like when I discovered how to fucking walk. I'm learning how to walk again in real time. Yes! I love it. I love it. This is like, this is drugs. Fuck you. I don't even know what you are. I don't even know. Get fucked. Holy shit. Like, I don't want to be just, like, the reaction guy and just make, like, noises and shit. But what do I say to this? Insufficient firepower. Big guy. Big guy. Big guy. Sword machine. I can't shoot the coins. I, if I can shoot the coins, this, this would be cool. If you punch him, it's called disrespect. Ultra kill wouldn't make for a good stream. I never said that. Someone else said that.
Wait, piercing shot. Oh, yeah! Oh my god. This is just, this is what fucking sex feels like in a video game. We've distilled dopamine. We've put it in a game. Get fucked. What is this? Shotgun. Can I rocket jump with this? <gasps> I can't. Oh, this is the best game ever. This is the best game ever. Those mad bastards somehow did it. They found a way to make Doom, but like infinitely better. And that's a hard bar to pass, because that's Doom. Fuck. Okay, so how long I charge depends on how long it goes. Are you dead? Give me blood. Okay, yeah, it's dead. <laughs> I knew Ultra Kill played through. I imagine that, like, Ultra Kill, like, first-time playthroughs have the same level of, like, relevancy in the public eye as, like, first-time Undertale playthroughs. It's just the thing that you never want to miss if someone plays it. Oh, yeah, you're back. Can I have your chainsaw arm? I already took the shotgun. I get it now. Slightly. Oh, my coins! Fuck you, auto mod. <laughs> I'd say so. The one thing I've always been bad at, like even in Doom, was swapping weapons. And I need to get better at that in this game. I can already tell, like, swapping weapons is gonna be huge. I need to flip these coins so much better. Genius. That's all I can say. Adding a DMC style meter to a first person shooter is genius. Yeah! I win. I win. Put me in the hole. This is the exact opposite of Undertale, actually. I mean, in the sense of, like, whenever Undertale came out, literally everybody was like, I gotta see, like, X streamer play Undertale. Kill only one enemy? You can do that? You don't have to fight people? It is like, see, it's just like Undertale. Shotgun. Pump charge. Alt fire to pump your shotgun, increasing the power and decreasing the accuracy of your next shot. Too many pumps will cause an explosion when fired. I mean, yeah, why not? How's Ultra Kill so far? Literally all I can do is just make noises. I can't like accurately describe this. 
All right. So that's what it means when it says it will make an explosion. Good. Head. Head. I can't shoot these coins. All right. Funny. Get out of here. I need to get better at that. Why did you have to tell me about the coin chaining thing? You told me about that? I'm going to try to do that at every given opportunity now. I'm never going to be able to just, like, throw out one of those. It's always going to be multiples. Right! Glass floor. No, glass floor. Remember your training. Remember your training of like two levels ago. Explode. Good pulp game. This is a fantastic pulpy video game. That is so stupid. I love it. That's like the dumbest thing you could add into a video game and it's the coolest shit ever. Put me in the hole. You can punch your own projectiles as well as theirs. You can what? You can parry almost everything in the game and a successful parry refills all of your health. You dodge, it gives you iframes. Slide uninterrupted for 17 seconds. You can punch your shotgun bullets to make them go faster. <gasps> this is like the best game ever! This is the fucking best game ever! We've done it! We've tapped into the realm of God! I got squished and I love it! Oh, I want more stuff. Malicious face. Here's their vermin that's easily recognizable. Their hearts still like exterior and slow movements. Demons of higher intelligence than husk, but they're still incapable of rational thought and communication. No demons have been able to pass the mere test. Those studies are limited to their host hostility. Who's doing these studies? Malicious faces are the most common type of demon, but they're incredibly dangerous, especially in swarms with their mastery of the use of hell energy as a weapon. In their burst fire, they can be quite difficult to use the effect of a point blank shotgun. Nails and recommended of course of action. Nails? With magnets enabling long-range combat. Due to their invulnerability to explosions, they don't need to hold back. Oh, they're... Okay, that's why they're not taking damage from explosions. Thank you from walls and their surfaces recommended begin charging their energy beam. Sword machine. Greater machine. Original form is unrecognizable after years of scrap and salvaging and rebuilding itself, but among scrap heads, the sword machine is quite famous due to its combat prowess and self-made form. Ugly but most beautiful. Ugly and most but beautiful to uh, enthusiasts, spawning many coffee cats. It's a self-made sword with a motor on it that's been, that when red will heat the blade, cutting through most organic matter with ease. Due to its possessive hoarding behavior, it's one of the few machines still capable of vocalization, an ability that most have discarded for efficiency, efficient resource management. Despite its excellent performance against Hell's Denizens, its design is not taking account of the extreme ability of opponents. It's best to avoid its blade, jump out of the way of its, ver of its vertical range. Its motorized sword makes for predictable cat attacks, <laughs> making the sword machine an excellent target for parrying. Could you parry the sword? Although its ranged weapons are primitive best, it can it sort those can be extremely accurate thanks to the mastery of the weapon. Yes. You could parry the sword? Schism. Greater husk. Two souls attempting to manifest in the same space, causing an amalgamation of two physical bodies. 
quite resilient to damage, but have very poor motor control and thus cannot aim with any degree of accuracy, resorting to barrages of energy orbs in the general direction of their opponent. Piercing revolver charge headshots are effective tool with to quick schisms. Okay, so pump blank shotgun pump blast with two pumps will take them out with a single shot. Due to their poor aim, they aren't priority target, but the sheer amount of projectiles can sometimes make avoiding them tricky and busy encounters. This is fucking wild. You can parry almost everything. 95% of this game can be parried. Don't tell me that. Climax. Cerberus. This is the fucking prelude. Grinder. I fucked up the rocket jump. I fucked up the rocket jump. Wait, I can just wall jump. Abandon all hope, ye who enter here. Let me in. Oh, they get up! I can't parry that. I can do that! Do it again. All right. Give me another charge. I want to parry it. Please. Let me have this. Right. Explosion kills me. Throw it. That's either really tight or I'm just bad. I think I'm just bad. I'm gonna, I'm gonna die, but this is. I want to die doing it. Yep. Yes to both. It's super tight. Ah. Uh. Yes. Fuck you. Inhale my ass. Oh, they bleed! Good game. I love you. I love you. I don't care. I could be here forever. And that's fine. I love you. This is exactly what people saw when Leonardo da Vinci presented his ideas to the general, like, Italian public. This is the Mona Lisa of, like, 2022. If video games are not art, explain Ultra Kill. Explain Punch Bullet. You literally can't explain this. Let me in.
opinion on the music thus far, it fucks supremely. I'll take it. Don't inflict fatal damage to any enemy. How do you not inflict fatal damage? Alright, so these just stay the same. I could customize it, though. You can customize it for a million dollars. A million tell points. I like hell! I see the fact that this is just like a fucking room. Let me out. Blood chalice? Let me out. Why is it, like, serene now? I want to punch things. Let me in. <laughs> face. Malicious face. No fake help. You don't come out of, like, the hell anus, and, like, you're in heaven. Your brain doesn't register that. Skull. It's just like Halo. friend. One of these is going to be alive. Wait. Is there a speaker in here? I have a strong desire to break all of the speakers. Right, I can wall jump. Super orb. Wait. Wait a second. Wait a second. That's movement. That's movement tech right there. How do you do that? I don't know what you are, but, uh, get fucked. I have no qualms with you. But at the same time, uh, get fucked. It's me, the robot. Yes! What the fuck is that? What's the alt fire? <gasps> it magnetizes bullets? I love you. What else is this? Can I break this? I think your record's skipping. 
slightly. I think the illusion might be wearing off a little bit. Checkpoint. Get fucked. <laughs> That's just all I have to say about this game. It's just get fucked. Every enemy. I have an MMO mouse. I feel like I need one to play this game. Hi. I'm in heaven! Look, it's me in heaven! I made it, Ma! Why did you tell me I could punch bullets? I'm never gonna stop doing that. I mean, thank you. But at the same time, that's a dangerous skill to give me. I love this game. I love this game. I need to get better at, like, using all the tools of my fucking arsenal. I guarantee people that play this game and are, like, absolutely cracked at it. Complete the level in under 10 seconds? Oh, I'm in limbo, that's why. I bet the people that play this game, though, and they're just, like, cracked as shit at it... ...is a treat to watch. That is a gun- like, that is a treat to watch. What is this? Ah! Launch it all, at once! I fun with that. Hi. Can I punch the coin? Can I punch the coin? Yes! The game just like, it moves so fast, I don't have time to think about anything else other than I'm having fun. Which I feel like is the mark of a good game. Oh no. Enemies. Anyway. Have fun! We finally found it. This is the game that's like immune to having a video essay made about it. Because what can you say about it? Like your brain doesn't remember anything once you're past like the encounter. I'm going to replay this game. I can already tell. Until I die. I looked on Steam. I saw that the reviews were overwhelmingly positive. I'm like, yeah, okay. It's probably just like meme reviews, you know? Like how Pussy has like a super positive review. You know? I get it now. I get I haven't I haven't touched this game for more than like three seconds. How long has it been? You're cringe. You're absolutely cringe. Blue fat flat flash. Blue flash. Hello? Crap. Oh no, it's unparryable. Anyway.
So I can't parry the coin as soon as it comes out. But I can do that. The time doesn't feel real right now. This is one of the games that I can play and I'm like, time's not real. I'm gonna lose time over this. Secret. Secret. Yeah, unparryable, huh? You think it matters? You know what's not unparryable? My own bullets! Explosions. Whatever. Who cares? I don't need health. It's everywhere. Health is a resource. It's ammo. Health is the ammo. I get it now. It's not that there is no ammo, it's that the health is the ammo. Only up to Act 2 is released. There will be three. Good. P. Is that perfect? No restarts. Do not pick up any sc- Huh? Hello. What enemies do we have now? Street Cleaner. Originally built as a way to purify the tainted air of cities after the climate catastrophe, street cleaners were made obsolete during the New Peace and were repurposed as scouts for Hell Expedition. Their urge to clean remained, and after the fall of mankind, they began burning any organic matter they came across in an effort to purify the world. Through their combat experience, they could be tricked to take down the projectiles or explosives. The canister of the axe will wage a weak point that can be shot with precision shots, such as a marksman coin ricochet from behind. Point blank attacks can also be very efficient, but must perform quickly to avoid the fire of their flamethrowers. Hell empty because all the devils are here in chat. No. Everybody here watching Ultra Kill it has to be ultra based. Cerberus. Although they do not resemble the mythical three headed dog, this name is chosen due to the nature of the protection of hell. However, it's not yet known why some stay dormant despite provocation. But if they keep an energy orb stable, take some considerable amount of focus and effort, they always keep one on hand, most likely as a display of their power to scare off intruders. If you're making stationary until awoken, they can be quite slowly. They move quite slowly to so engagement. Distance easy to control. They quite. They're quite adept at ranged combat with throwing their aura. In order to avoid damaging themselves, they will not initiate a throw while their target is close, which can be used to manipulate their behavior. Though once a throw is started, it cannot be stopped. With their extreme concentration, their energy orbs, throw ones explode in physical impacts, so straying close to surfaces with the water floors make it avoid being a range difficult. Like, yeah, whatever. M my brain doesn't work well with reading right now. Split color doors only require one skull to open. If you do not seek hardship, stay indoors. But I want to open it. brain. Suck ween. Back away. Are you crawling? Oh no, you're just freaking out. Oh my god, you're really freaking out. You could tell me that's part of the game and I'd believe you. The terminal is there as a litmus test. If you still possess literacy, you're not playing hard enough. I believe that. Thank you for the 100 bits. What's behind me? Well, Cerberus is alive again. It's so beautiful. In like a fucked up kind of way, but it's it's really fun. Explode. Whoa, I got I, I, ultra kill! My brain is on all cylinders right now.
And the music is really good. Who's still alive? The better question is, why are you still alive? I think I kind of want overheat. Get fucked, robot. Big soul. blue. I want red skull, too. I want them both. What do I even say? Every word that comes out of my mouth has been a garbled nonsense mess. Cause like, I can't talk. I want to appreciate high art, damn it. Good, good, good. What's shooting me? Get out of here. Cool head, buddy. Cool head. Good head. Do it. Thank you. Yeah, you want to do this? You want to do this? Put the coin straight up. I want to punch the coin again. I deserve that. What is going on? Who's that guy? I've forgotten enemies. Personally, I think it'd be very funny if at some point during this game, I have to do an escort quest and not kill something. I love you, Nailgun. Who's still at- you're alive. I seek pain. I seek hardship. I love this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say that like eight more times in the next hour. That's not solid.
please. Right, the red key. I suppose there's a fast way out of here, huh? Wait, does wall jumping take stamina? Hello? Overheal cannot be regained with blood. Wait, okay, so that's the blue key. And then I came through here. Red key. Yes. Yet more to shoot. Tundra and agony. The music cut out. There was so much shit happening. Right, you all have two health bars. This is gonna explode. Yeah. Walk through that, walk through that. I'm dying. No, I'm not. I live. I'm so good at every video game. Every single one of them. Oh, I know what this is. This is like, this is a you have to kill them at the same time situation, isn't it? That's basically a tank gun. Oh my god, you can just tank damage with that. I get what is this some of the depths of limbo a mechanism is set in motion what is this game uh i need to get i need to take a breather real quick i don't know I, i'm going like cross-eyed right now I need to, like, get up. I like drink. I love, like, I like being hydrated. Oh, my God. This has been going for an hour, and I haven't had a coherent thought yet.
Hi, everybody. How's it going? Oh, fuck me. I'm gonna lean back real quick. I'm gonna... I'm gonna, use, I'm gonna lean my chair backwards. I feel like I'm in therapy right now. Well, you see, Doc, it all started when I booted up Ultra Kill. I thought I knew what video games were. I really did. Mario is a video game. He goes from left to right, and you, know, you hit the jump button. He goes bing, bing, woohoo. Final Fantasy, that's a video game. It's a JRPG. You hit a button, and they do an attack. I thought, I thought I understood FPS. -y. I've played Doom. I didn't even play Doom on like Ultraviolet. I thought I knew what I thought I knew what games were. I bought a game on Steam for twenty five dollars, Doc. Twenty five. Twenty five dollars changed my fucking life. Good God! Okay. I need to play. I need to play the video game. Hello? Cockroach? Oh, hideous mass is kind of right. What is this? What a shrimp! Lobster? Drop me. Drop me. Drop me. Shoot that. Tail! The tail is the weak spot, right? Or did you- no, I think it's just the flesh. Hi. Nice cock, man. Beautiful penis. I think that's what that was. Quick question, can I punch it? Yeah, that looks bad. I love the coin shot, but I'm so bad at it. Yes! Oh, I eat the soul! Get me out of here. Scorpion. Right. That's what that is. There's a name for that bug. It's not a shrimp. I thought it was a shrimp. You're really good at this? Am I? Kaz. Kaz. Beat the secret encounter. <gasps> that well, I, I did that. I did. I did that. I did that. Limbo. Final level of limbo. Oh yeah. No fucking way. No, you're not doing this. You're not doing this. This kills. That definitely kills you. Uh, oops. <laughs> I wanted a secret hunt! Yeah, okay, there's no secrets. Alive? Claire de Lune. What the fuck? What the f what the fuck's going on here? Forgive me. Is that God? Are you God? Pick up to read. 
<laughs> my mind is adrift with the eternal torments. Lurid vistas painted in insidious tones, hollow walls that scream to the touch. A mocking song plays at all hours, even the sounds of birds are fake. All reminders of my enduring damnation. Gabriel, my dearest friend, in endless penance have I awaited your embrace into heaven. I have been so faithful, accepting of my fate, but to what end? What punishment is this? That I am to bear the keys to my own doom with no hope of salvation. These skulls sneer their devilish grins, voices chattering, tempting me to take the plunge deeper into hell. I won't do it. I've hidden them away amongst Oof. the furnishings, books, and the very foundations of this accursed place. Forgive me, Gabriel. I will await your... Irrelevant. Broken. Books. Books. Secrets. You spoke of secrets. Where are the secrets? Where is your head? I mean, yeah, you know, guy lost his head. That's kind of important. But, like, you know, what about the secrets? Is this secrets? Oh. So if I find the secrets on the other two levels before me, I can open this up. Very interesting. Which one of you is secrets? Secrets! Oh, there's three. Yeah. Don't suppose you just let me slip on in there. There's one up there. Hello? The fuck was that? Is that a rat? Do they have rats in hell? Hello. Sir and or madam. Up. Huh? I can make that. I think. Alright, never mind. There's nothing up there to get. Feels like there should be one, like, out here. And there might be. I might just be crazy. Actually, wait, what'd the book say again? There's no crouch. There's only slot. There is no crouch. I've been moving every time I hit the crouch key, so I just assumed that I was doing that because I was moving. No, there's just straight up no crouch key. The crouch key just makes you slide, even if you don't move. That's good game design. Is it behind this door? No, it's no, it's like it's right there. All right. Claire de Lune me. Cyber grind. No, wait, no, wait. Fuck, no, go back. I wonder if I Didn't I encounter a new enemy somewhere? Right. This, the hideous mass. Hideous masses are a rare occurrence when an excessive amount of hell mass is poured into a single shell, causing to overflow and burst at the seams. With the broken seams along from mobility without having to bend its exterior, the stone has hardened more than the shell of most demons, making it completely pervious to all known attacks. Excuse me. Although the stone exterior makes for an impenetrable defense, the hideous mass's belly and tail remain exposed and vulnerable. While standing up, the quick burst of close range damage is the most effective way to hurt them. Although this will likely most likely... <laughs> I said likely too many times. This will most likely cause it to change formations, so the key is to being decisive is... Bad, be quick and decisive. When it's in its low formation, keeping a safe distance is recommended with the melee capabilities and high-speed tail harpoon, those brave or suicidal may attempt to climb on its back and continue dealing close range damage to the tail. Why didn't I do that? That sounds cool. Cop the harpoon is recommended to either punch the harpoon or damage the tail to remove it. I just punched him in the face and that kind of worked. This is fucking ominous.
Wait, what? Hi. V2. They hey, wait, hold on. He's doing my shit. Is that just me? Get fucked. Yeah, okay, I deserve that. I'll get an early cheap shot in on him. I don't know attack timings. I don't know where he is. Oh my god. He can shoot your coins? Hi. You're beautiful, you know that? Two can play the slide game. This this sucks. This is great. It sucks because I'm bad. I think I just got my own projectile punched back at me. What is that bar? There's a bar below V2. Oh, they're missing. Thank you. Th thanks? Equipment with G? What, is what the fuck is that? That is cool! That's the coolest thing I've ever- like, we gotta- uh, <laughs> Man, I don't know. I, I don't know. Here's here's the gamble thing, I guess. Here's here's that. That's not the right thing. I don't know what's going on anymore. Get rid of that. Yeah. New source. Display capture. There it is. I don't even care. Here's Claire de Lune. Put channel points down on this. I need to I need to lay down on my floor. Good luck. I hope it's what you want.
I'm on the floor. This is a very comforting experience for me. I can touch the floor and it's still here. It's a constant. It keeps me rooted in this reality. And I think that's what's keeping me here. Get the chair. Happy Tails. 30% of you chose Tails. Tails people are gonna get a massive fucking payout. Literally, like, massive. It's 94,000 points. I have to go back. I have to, I have to like, I gotta grip it. I gotta grip it by the nuts. I just gotta go back it. <laughs> Kill zero S. Do not pick up any skulls. What? How do you do that? What am I in now? Lust? Arms. Feedbacker. Carry 80 projectile, including shotgun shots and coins. Slow punch with high damage and knockback. Hold punch to blast shells inside of the knuckle, causing shockwave that knocks... You can hold this? Unavailable. I want it. I want it now. So I'm guessing under construction means that, like, that's the early access stuff that they haven't- Like, that's, that's like the Act 3 stuff. That's just not here yet. And unavailable means that it's in the game and I just haven't unlocked it yet. Hold F to create a shock with it knocks back enemies. Hey, they scream! Cool! Even the normal punch knocks him back. Okay. Hello! Okay, this is like cool as shit. You can go down there? I kind of want to. All right, the arm cannot propel me. No, wait. Close, very close. I need to restart. Bye bye. What just happened? I know he died, but what just, how did he die? is new blood. 
I'm just now thinking about it because like I remember seeing it at the start. What is Nubla? Is every game they make like this? Or maybe publish? I don't know. Hi, welcome back. So I need to make it over there, which I can do by doing that if I don't jump like a coward. They're the publisher. Their games are also pretty great. I will get that secret. Why did it slow down? It was cool, but why did it do that? You can move so fast! Saw movement, maybe? No, I get the checkpoint first. Get the de right, I can do this. I forgot about that. Oh, come on. What did what did you just kill? Can I B-hop? Wait, hold on. I can probably explosive jump just by using this, right? Oh, this probably kills me. This definitely, like, kills the shit out of me. Yeah, it kills the shit out of me. I'm here. I'm here. Please. Please. Yes! I love you. I love you, Ultra Kill. Fantastic video game. I am sorry to uh, everybody who voted Morrowind on the poll, but I honest to God can tell you, it would not have been nearly as brain melting as what I am currently experiencing. I know it was a close fight, but honestly, Ultra Killers, I'm very happy you like, you influenced the poll as you did. I go higher. <laughs> what the fuck are you?
Okay. I had to try. I had to try. You lost a bet and had to play Ultra Kill? I, uh... I played Paper Mario, right? And I was really confident in myself, and I was like, there's literally no way I will ever die in this game. And if I do die, then I'll pull, like, I'll put a poll up. And whatever game is highest voted on the poll is the game I'll play. And the game that went the highest was, uh, Ultra Kill. So here we are. Oh, I can change what, like, comes pre... Pre-packaged. I want Overheat as, like, the pre-packaged. Death at 20,000 volts, huh? Don't like the sound of that. Don't like the look of you, either. Limb hit. Where am I going? In here. No. How possible is it to just clip out of this? Right, you're immune to explosives. That would have been so cool. Why'd you fuck it up? Oh, right. You're you're closer now. What are you? I like the tube shotgun. I didn't think I would, but I really like it. It's a it's a screen? No, it's not a screen. I want to get a closer look at it. I want to know what that thing is. It looks weird. Am I missing, like, a fuse box? Where does the fuse box go? Here. And you go... Ah. Wait, you're not dead? Leave no one alive. Oh, do you just exist to bleed? Blades! Big fan! Big fan of the big fan! Big fan of the big fan! Wrong arm 
Come on. How about that? Can parry projectiles. Swap arms with G. Do it. Okay. Do it again. Thanks. I thought I, I thought his head exploded, and then I was like, why is he still moving without a head? Secret. Double secret. New gun? New gun! Okay, it's a fucking rail gun. Recharges even when unequipped. Switch weapons to keep fighting between shots. I love I love this game. Railgun's done. <laughs> Railgun's done, and then dead. They get turned into like mist. Oh, fuse box. Second fuse box. I can just shoot these. All right, so we're... Oh, your wires are hidden. So I'm missing that one. Sweet. No one left standing. This is so fun. I finally understand what, like, Funk means whenever he's talking about movement shooters. This is so fun. That wasn't death. You just killed them so bad they never existed in the first place. I have retroactively removed that man from history. I shot him so hard, he was del he was redacted. Based Funk Enjoyer. I like Funk a lot. I've- I've watched Funk for fucking years. Rail cannon variations all share the same cooldown. Choose wisely which variation fits the, the situation. Yeah, okay. Malicious! Screwdriver! What is malicious? Instant beam that causes a large explosion on impact, similar to a certain familiar face. Ooh. Wipe out groups of weak enemies with ease. Fires a powerful drill that sticks to an enemy and deals damage over time. The drill causes the enemy to bleed continuously with extra healing range. You know what? I'll take I'll take drill. What kind of motherfucker names a gun malicious? Sheer heart attack has no weakness. Get out of here. I need to be careful with the floor. I say- no, wait, no, that's water. There's that big thing. What the fuck are you? Well, waste that. I was say, can I break that? Alright, so I can get wet. It can zoom! That's beautiful!
right. Oh, okay. Save railgun. I know that now. Save raygun. I love doing that so much. What just happened? I blacked out for a second. What just happened? Alright, so this is just the same way I went. Where does Blue Skull go, then? No, oh, you're red. Blue Pedestal. Right, I'm a robot. Why why am I afraid of water? I'm a robot. I mean like me as the person. It feels wrong for the game to be this quiet. I can hear myself think. Not gonna lie, that almost made me dock a point. I want to rocket jump everywhere, but that's a bad idea. I have a railgun. I keep forgetting. I've got a line gun that's better than that. Floor is a grinder. Grinder, 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 floor, floor grinder. The way out? Yes. What the fuck are you? I should have used drill there. That would have been perfect. Oh well. Oh well, always next time. Hey, look, next time. These coins are so hard to predict. I love them. Where is it over? Can I breathe? Good level.
Is it weird that I've been seeing fanimations and porn of this game? This is my first time seeing the actual game. I was gonna say, who wants to fuck the demons? And then I remember that there's like, there's that entire Doom mod that literally exists solely so you can fuck the demons. Also, we're in Lust, so I, you know, that makes sense. I want malicious. Court of the Corpse King. I'm guessing that's supposed to be like, you know, in the Court of the Crimson King. Who needs a fucking car? Railway systems suck. I'm super fast. There's a mod? Yes. It was really popular. Hi. Uh, in case it wasn't kind of, like, obvious, uh, whenever I was but a wee lad below the age of 18, uh, I used to spend a lot of time on, like, 4chan. So I kind of, like, I know the more unsavory things about certain game modifications. Is there something all the way back at spawn? That feels like a thing to do. Milky. Yeah, what? I was like fucking 14. Of course I was like an edgy teenager. I didn't say any racial slurs though, all right? I'm better than that. The train, what about the train? I'm not using that. You see how fun movement is in this game? Why would I deny myself doing this? I just want to find the blue key. Hey, look, the blue key. Wait, what if the wait, what if this is a train? What if this is like an oncoming train? This reminds me of, like, the Half-Life section. Hello? Hello? Alright, fine, I'll take the train. I'm so bad at telling where that thing's gonna slap. Why? All right, DDR. I'm really bad at it. I've always been bad at it. Now I have to do it to fight a hand. Actually, wait, no, I should probably use this one. Go forward. Go forward. Go forward. Forward. I kind of wish it was playing elevator music. I feel like that would be a funny little touch. What is this? Buy car, train, need red key. Go. 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 Faster. Go faster. Explodable? I tried. Go back. Oh, 
Oh, there's this. Sliding will turn to pe or retain previous momentum for a short amount of time. Chaining quick slide jumps after a dash jump will give you incredibly sustained speed. Oh yeah, I forgot. There's new enemies. Soldier. Soldiers are unlimited version of strays whose, technolog whose technological implants have been scavenged from broken machines to channel hell energy with greater efficiency. To increase the power, the increase in power gives soldiers more self-confidence, causing them to act more aggressively than normal strays. Despite the enhancements, their intelligence remains low and has yet to be determined who or what actually augmented them. Shotgun is an excellent weapon against soldiers as long as it is swift so as to not allow them to protect themselves with melee attacks. Soldiers charge their shots in front of them rather than above them. The, change is also, the charge is also easy to interrupt via a precise revolver shot for an explosive kill. Thanks to their augmentation, soldiers are able to withstand normal explosions with little to no damage. The more powerful red explosions will go through their guard, however, and they are unable to block, if not on the ground. So what else we got here? V2, Supreme Machine. The V model was built for war, with V1 boasting a new kind of exterior plating that allowed refueling through contact with blood rather than refueling through a separate blood refueling process. Due to the necessary thinness, it is far less durable, but the ability to fix itself and rebuild broken parts on the fly would outweigh the negatives on an active battlefield. During the prototype phase, a new piece was established and war became irrelevant. V1's planned production was cancelled, and the updated model V2 was undeveloped instead, using a standardized plating since durability was far more important during times of peace when no bloodshed was necessary. That's me! I'm the blood robot! I suck blood through my skin! Neither model will ever reach mass production or the end of the war is completely draining any demand, so it's likely only a single prototype of each model will remain in existence. We're brothers! V2 is an adept at controlling space and will take advantage of this to change the flow of battle. Stay too close to it and it will run away. Stay far away and it will come close. V2's high mobility makes it a tricky target to hit and especially difficult to heal off of when you need a blood and they will retch up. Retch up. Catch up, it's instead recommended to stay away from it and let it come to you. V2 will switch weapons depending on the distance from its target. If one of its weapons is difficult to avoid, a change in proximity will close it off. Knowledge of the synergies of one of its arsenal can lead to, to allow one to turn V2's weapon against it. What are you? The Mind Flayer. Has boobs. I think. Yeah, that, that, that's tits. <laughs> Rare but extremely dangerous. The Mind Flayer is a machine that is adapted and master the use of hell energy alongside its own technological prowess. The machine itself is only the top part of the apparent body, with the rest of it, which is a plastic shell in the form of a human, which they seem to have built themselves. The plastic body serves no function, it's only for aesthetic purposes. Despite it being a waste of resources, Mind Flayers will use everything in its power to protect the plastic body from harm, even if it means destroying itself in the process. Mind Flayers seem to prefer a female form, though on American occasions, male forms have also been rec uh, recorded. The kind of Mind Flayers apparently keep track of their actions either through visuals or audio. Due to their homing projectiles being fired in a burst, a safe explosion such as a knuckle blast or blast wave is the most effective, efficient in dealing with them. Their instant transportation, thanks Dragon Ball Brain, can make consistent positional advantage difficult, but a screwdriver will temporarily stop them from teleporting. I have a screwdriver. And then there's all the bosses. Good! Scary! Corpse of King Minos! Holy fuck! What the fuck? Black hole? Period. I've got a health. Period. No. Well, at least that landed. What is the black hole? The black hole leaves me with one health. Got it. What? The, what, what? Parry his fist. I'll do it. I tried. <laughs> I am God. Holy. 
Holy shit, what is your eyeballs? That was the coolest shit ever. Nice corpse, buddy. Can I go inside? What are your organs like? Can I taste them? What's it like in here? I'm gonna squish your arteries like a kid playing in Play-Doh. Parry a punch. Who, who said parry a punch again? Who the fuck said parry his fist? I love you. I'd appear in your home and I'd bake you a fucking cake. There's a third arm. What's the third arm? Act 1 Crescendo. Belly of the Beast. Nice face. Eyeball? Why don't you give me, like, blood? Oh, yeah, you're up. Hi, welcome to the party. So sorry I had to leave. We loved having you, though. Oh, don't zoom in. I hit the four button on my, my mouse. Cool teeth. All right, you do brush and floss, I guess. Blood. I guess this blood isn't fresh. Eyeball. I shot too early. Problem I'm sure no one else has ever had. I do swear this doesn't usually happen. Alright, now that I've made my sex joke, I'm gonna need you to die. So why are you red? Did you... Did you just speak to me? Are you capable of... Are they, is this like a spine? This is... This is... This is bones. Hello. Okay, I love this. I why am I fighting in like the M MC Escher spine room? It's cool, don't get me wrong, but like freaky place. Do it. Thank you. Oh, I thought that would have hit. I thought that said fail. I thought the game was like calling me epic fail. I was about to get really upset. 
but not like in a mad kind of upset way, in the same way that like you tell like your tweet like your three year old that the somersault he did on the floor wasn't impressive, and he goes, "Oh." Good room. Who's alive? You are. I was doing so well on those two. They're charging up so many of those like big blasts. Get drilled. Ah, stomach meat room. So the sniper rifle in this game is just the coin, right? Like the coin ricochet shot is the sniper rifle. This is hurt. It hurts its stomach acid. All right, you have fun. He was just palling around. He was having a jam session. I can't hit a single coin shot when it matters. Or not. What's up? What do those secrets even do? Was that it? No. I want more! We demand coin rail- I forgot you could swap weapons after shooting- after throwing out the coin. I forgot. Do I have enough money yet? No. In the flesh. In my sticky little hole. In my sticky little squishy meat hole. The she turned back now. No. The layers of this palace are not for your kind. Turn back, or you will be crossing the will of God. Why are you in hell if you're the will of God? Also, this isn't a palace. This is a guy's body. Your choice is made. As the righteous hand of the Father, I shall rend you apart. And yeah. you will become inanimate once more. Heart. Behold, the power of an angel. angel? Gabriel? I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it. Oh! <laughs> oh my god! Yes. It is funny. Yeah, 
Yeah, how about that? Oh, he's mad. He's a bit upset. I do get better at that. I will parry you, so help me God. I will parry that. I don't know what I did to do, like, nearly all of his health bar, but I'd love it if I could do it again. Someone's a bit upset. Yes. <laughs> yes, I do. What? How can this be? Nice sword. By this, this thing. Significant fuck! This is not over! Can Angel say a swear word? May your woes be many and your days few. I'm telling God! <laughs> Drop Gabriel in a pit. How do you drop him? Disgrace. Humiliation. Unseemly and unwelcome at the feet of the council. Their eyes ablaze with bitter resentment, glaring through Gabriel's wounds of body and soul, bore outward for all to see. Has this one abandoned the way of our creator? It is unworthy of its holy light. Father's light is indomitable. This one sees fit to squander it. Their words resonated in Gabriel's limbs, coursing through as lighting up upon a wire. A searing hiss that would strike Lesser's deaf and blind. The holy light within him, an unstoppable storm of divine fury. Insurmountable from mere objects, this he knew. Holy Council, my devotion to our Creator is absolute. I have never strayed from the will of the Father. But a machine... You dare imply the might of the Father could be shaken by a mere object. Impossible. Heresy. Unspeakable. Heresy. Heresy. Silence. Your treachery will not be tolerated. As punishment, the Father's light shall be severed from your body. You have 24 hours before the last of its embers die out. And you with them. Prove your loyalty. Unmake your mistakes. As the light was ripped from his being, Gabriel's screams were silenced in the hiss of gospel and praise of God. A boiling anguish to which even the fires of hell could not compare. Through the blaze of torment, a single burning hatred was forged anew. If the machines seek blood, he would give it freely. And with such fury, even metal will bleed. Continue to act too! I know I said, like, at the start, I was only going to do Act 1. But, like, this is really fun. And I mean, like, this is really fun. <laughs> I 
I like that. Okay, that's cool. I like how you can hear the fucking the actual sounds of the guy muffling about. All right. Still can't afford malicious. Getting closer. Enemies. The corpse of King Minos. Once the great and beloved king of the Lust Lair, Minos has now been reduced to a shambling corpse. Due to his incredible power of will and status as a just ruler in life, remembered even in death, even uh, even millennia after his death, the manifestation of his soul is the largest husk to have ever been recorded. Small traces of the original soul can still be detected in the body, but the corpse itself is animated and controlled entirely by the snake-like parasites that he once commanded. Despite once bringing upon the resistance of the Lust Lair, his corpse now only seeks sinners to punish. Due to his large stature, it has been quite difficult to recover blood from him, but his hands are usually holding onto the walls of the arena, which can be used for refueling. Any weapons will work against an enemy this large, but melee and projectile parries make for a quick way to inflict grave damage. Although it moves slowly, the black hole he summons is extremely dangerous and cannot be destroyed. Yeah, that, that would have saved me some... <laughs> some crying. Gabriel, the Judge of Hell, Supreme Angel. One of the most respected and feared er uh, Archangels, Gabriel earned his reputation through power and efficiency. Regardless of the task given, Gabriel would always perform it quickly and decisively, earning him the title of Judge of Hell after dethroning Minos and ending the Lust Renaissance. Despite answering to the Council, he is far more popular and beloved among angels due to his radiant personality and active nature, especially compared to the Council that strictly upholds and follows the dogma of faith. Gabriel's wounds are fast and his attacks are deadly, but by observing which weapon he manifests, his attacks can actually be predicted before he even starts them. Gabriel's pride stops him from attacking while taunting his opponent, opening up a short window for healing. So he's stupid. Oh my god, it's Egypt! Can I find Anubis? Where are they keeping Hotep? Wait. You skip over the water if you saw oh my god, that's great. If you go into the grind, you get the points by the gun with. Yeah, but like, Egypt. It's a biblically accurate angel. <laughs> oh, oh, I have erased you from existence. God felt that one. I see secret. I see secret. You know what else I see? An alternative path. I see secret. All oh, their stuff on the pyramid. All right, now I go back because there's probably shit I can fight and I want to fight. I hate the flying guys. That was just too good to pass up. All right, angel, angel, where's the angel? Found it. All right, what we got going on out here? Cool. Cool. That's all this game is. 
Look up the definition of cool in the dictionary right there. Ultra kill. $25 on Steam. $25 on Steam. That's worth it. The game just got twice as good. The game literally just got twice as good. Add another gun, that's two more times. God is real. God is real and he's good. Look at all he gives us. Two guns? All right. You. I'm just exploding all the time. It's worth it. This is so good. I don't even know what just happened. Twelve shot snake! More than enough to kill anything that moves! I would say I love the thrill of reloading during a battle. But I don't even have to reload anymore. Are you like doors? No. Third arm! Please tell me I keep this. Please tell me I keep this. Don't activate any enemies. That is possible. Ah. Oh well. That's still really fucking cool. All right, I'll look at the biblically accurate angel. Virtue, the lesser angel. Fuck, I keep knocking over my glasses cleaner. Basis of a lesser angel forming that are quite similar to that of the husk, wherein the physical manifestation of the soul is dependent on its value. Though unlike for husks, virtuousness also acts as a factor for angels. Lesser angels come from human souls, which are formed into an abstract of animalistic shapes, making them distinct from the humanoid bodies of greater and supreme angels, who were created as such and are considered pure and placed higher on heaven's societal hierarchy. Through their past lives and as humans, virtues are often sent to complete tasks that greater angels deem below them or otherwise uninteresting, such as acting as wardens in hell. Their virtues use heavenly fire to punish sinners who are acting out their punishment in order to not waste Gabriel's time and with minor offenses and fluctuations. Virtues are only known for having a multitude of eyes, though for unknown reasons these eyes are hidden or removed for the ones that become wardens in hell. Some have speculated this may be related as to why all husks lack eyes, only the verified exception being the previous judge of hell, King Minos. Little is known about the specifics of angels, as heaven is exclusatory and segregated due to wanting little to no direct contact with God's human experiment. Verticality and cover give little safety against virtue's light beams, so constant horizontal movement is encouraged, though retracing one's steps can be dangerous as the beams linger. The dwarf two-long virtues will rage, making their, fly, making their light beams predict their target's movements, although it is easy to avoid their attacks with enough space, leaving them unattended can quickly turn the tables in their favor. Cool! God damn the sun! Goddamn hot! Enemies covered in sand will not bleed. They don't need to. He just needs to take damage from that. As long as he takes damage, I don't care. Oh, he's dead. Hey, what's up, guys? Oh my god, you're going to space!
squid face. So I guess I get the arsenal skill or like, you know, bonus from just swapping weapons a lot. Which makes sense, because that is like the kind of game that's right. I see secret. Uh yeah, you all hold on a second. Alright, thank you for holding. Toxic man. Wait for it. Nah. I fucked it up. Yeah! Oh. Do I still have the secret? Okay, yes. Oh, that guy's carrying sand. Okay, I'm airborne. Hello, area. I like checkpoint. Yes, yes, yes! Yes! Oh, Christmas came real early. I like three arms. I like having those. It wore off. Right. You're immune to that. Not to that! What would Coin do with the minigun? If I could hit it. It only makes, uh, it makes one of them go. While I have a moment to, like, calm the fuck down, I wanna try that. Like, I wanna try shotgun. I, mean, I know I can punch it. Honestly, I love punching it. Yeah, so even if I hit it on the frame, it comes out, I can't punch it like I can with shotgun bullets. So where do you go? Wait. Wait, hold the fucking front. Why do I have this? Do I have to transport it across the wastes? Alright, what's going on up here? Well, I can put that there. Big pin? Secret! Secret double gun. Yeah, I deserve that. Is the fucking... Is it still up there? I check later.
The second double gun. Please get the second double gun. <laughs> oh my god! This is so dumb. This is so dumb. We've upgraded from LSD to just straight up crack. Get fucked, Angel. Absolutely get fucked. Four arms. Four arms. We have four. Triple coin railgun. Before it runs out, yes. That's hell. Wait. Okay. I was gonna say, that probably kills me. So that is still up there. Ah, so it does go there. You know? I kind of just realized. How am I, uh... How am I gonna get back up there without killing myself? Oh well. That didn't work. Weeball! is so vertical. That's so fast! God damn the sun. Sisyphian insurrectionist. I'm literally always saying that. I'm always talking about the Sisyphian insurrectionist. Are you underground? It's so hard to see the coin. Hot, hot. Fried. The V1 has six arms maximum at the moment. Four through dual wield, one for melee, and one for redacted. Redacted, you say? Sis, sis. Kill the insurrectionist in under 10 seconds. How? This is like neon white all over again, like where I need to learn how to walk. I am a, I am a child. I am a small infant when it comes to video games now. Ah. A shot in the dark. What is this? Puzzle? Puzzle game? It's like Tomb Raider.
Or is it like Doom? This is like the first dark level from Doom 1. There's gotta be like an invisible enemy right in front of me sometime. Ooh. Different hallway. Wait, no, I can just do this. Do you get lit on fire if I punch you? I think? Yes! No. Maybe. Maybe. Secret? I don't think shortcuts count as secrets. Hello! Wow, it's dark in here. I'm gonna, do I'm gonna light them all. I'm gonna light them all at once. Who cares? I live in hell. We ball. We absolutely ball! I am not just a singular player. I'm the whole goddamn court. Who's mad? Why are you mad? <laughs> this game is so cool. I hate it. Why is this game just so cool? Traitor. I don't think they like Gabriel. To be fair, I don't think the Egyptians really like much of Christianity, so uh, that checks out. All right. Secret above me, I'm gonna say. Or I could be wrong. I can use that as a pseudo light. I love you. I love you, coin flip. Angel bad. Angel dumb. Cerberus I can deal with. Torch. Disco? I stand by what I said. Uh, this game is still cool. It's so cool, I hate it. You heard of like cuteness aggression before where you're just like, oh, it's so cute. I just wanna like, I just wanna like beat you up. That's this game, but on the opposite end of the spectrum. Okay, there I go.
Big room. Big room requires big focus. It predicted me! Right, you're immune to that. But not to that! Get out of here. Jesus! I love this game! <laughs> I need to, I need, I, I don't have a want. I have a need to get an S rank on like, or like a P rank on every level. Challenges don't pick up the torch. Oh, that's evil. I have a mighty need. Okay, I have to use the bathroom really quick. We're going to sit here and like calm down for a little bit with the elevator music. I'll be right back. Hi. Do I do cyber grind? There's a lot of people saying do the cyber grind. You should. If you're making everything's your need, go back to 3 1 sometime and look for a secret in the staircase part. Oh, maybe I will. I mean, sure. Enter.
Cyber grind settings, themes. Patterns, waves. Eh. Oh. Hold on. This is kind of cool as shit. The music goes off? Okay. I love your Doppler. This guy, this is so cool. I hate this game. I hate this. Why is it so cool? Who allowed it to be like this? You know what? Fuck it. We're gonna be cool about it too. This is so good. Shit storm. I never read these. Sadistic. Who's alive? This is so fucking cool. I love video games. This is the best thing ever. I can do that, right? Yeah, or not. All right, you know what? Maybe I see why I needed to do this, huh? I hit control in the middle of the air. I hit control in the middle of the air. The fucking fantastic, though. That is so cool. I learned about this game through Funk and then remembered it existed, but I heard there was an official body pillows of V1 and Gabriel on the publisher's merch website. I haven't been able to play much else since. I'd sleep with V1. Honestly... I think he did. I got six, I got 69 kills. Nice. Nice. So I can't play this ever again. Because if I do, what if I surpass 69 kills? I would have to get 420 kills. I, I, I have to go from like one dumb number to the next. There's a testament right there. 420, 69 kills? I... Don't tempt me. MALICIOUS!
All right, so how do you work? God, that is, that is good. That's good for the soul. Right, I'm still in here. All right. You can change the theme for the arena so it can be better on your eyes. Honestly, I kind of really like the white because the white very clearly highlights enemy silhouettes, which makes it easier to shoot them. All right, so what do we have here? Mario 64? Pyramid theme? Hot sand? The fucking sun? Up? Oh, no. Try shooting the shotgun grenade with malicious. That's a... That's a... That's a genius idea. I... No, I need... I need more room to do that, huh? <laughs> it's the simple things in life, really. This is what Brutal Doom wanted to be. Climax, Claire de Soleil. Gabriel? V2! What's up, buddy? Yeah, you're kind of mad, huh? I get that. Nice arm, by the way. He shot my coin! I would love to read that. I will rend him apart. Thank you for 10 bits. I right, fuck it. The V fight is really good. And I hate that because of the fact that he's better than me. This is just the coolest game ever. Get fucked! Oh -ho -ho! Thanks, buddy. Hold R to throw, release to pull. Oh, this is... This is... this is deadly. This is deadly! Pull light enemies to you, pull yourself to heavy enemies. Made for the shotgun! Oh. Anyway, hi. I'm over here now, I guess. Hard damage when used on enemies. Cannot reduce HP, but risky to use at low health. Understandable. Is there anything back here? Like, perhaps a secret? There's that. 
Which I think is just like some leftover clipping, but oh well. Hello. Hard damage is a recent change, actually. I mean, I get it. Without that, this thing's pretty fucking... It's pretty powerful already. Wrath. Arms. So I have all the arms. Ooh. Wet. Wet's cool. Oh! Whiplash is always active. That makes things a lot easier. This is so cool. <laughs> I, I, I hate the fact that I just keep saying that. I haven't played this part yet, I got a dip. Thanks for sticking around. Does not build up hard damage while underwater. Go nuts, have fun. Yeah, I can do that. Again, it feels weird to be underwater. Like, I don't... It feels weird that I can hear myself think. Because everything's, like, muted when underwater, and I'm not just sitting here being like... <gasps> Checkpoint. Oh, that's not on. Imagine having your fucking face used as a platform. Yeah, it's, just, it's, a, it's a little holy light, so what? Nothing a little WD-40 can't fix. Oh, that does build up hard damage. That builds up a lot of hard damage. Hi. <laughs> I love this game. I shot at an after image. I am stupider than a bird. Even my cat understands mirrors. All right, where do you go? Also, high secret. Maybe on top of towers of the tilted variety. Wrong. Oh, there it is. Give me a kiss. Come give grandma a hug. I 
I move so slow underwater. I'm not used to the grapple hook yet. Oh, I'm above. Oh, yeah, there's a. You can go above the water. You're still alive? Are those enemies? No, oh, no, I was just missing some, I guess. I love you. I love you, Ultra Kill. Thank you for being, thank you for existing. Thank you also for the developers. For including the fact that the pistol is not a pistol, but instead a revolver, which is just a cooler pistol. In every way, shape and form, the revolver is the cooler pistol. Someone's going to be like, oh, but functionality. Scythes are the coolest melee weapon, and that's because they're impractical. Yeah, in an actual firefight, yeah, the revolver might suck, but at the same time, it's the coolest. Revolver Ocelot had a point. You really are a reaper, huh? It's the coolest melee weapon. You have to go right now. Big boy, big boy, big scary. It's so easy to just shoot them. I like the skull too. It has a look of like distaste on it. Very classy game. Come on. Yep. What the fuck? Oh, it's a sentry. Revolver to the antenna. I see. Hi. Feels so good. Uh, I think not. Everything about this is just so good. Where's the angel? You get out of here. It predicted me. I'm a new Archangel. I think I deserve it. Yep, you go bye-bye. I'm not dealing with you two times.
<laughs> oh! <laughs> this is what it means to be human. Every dev at New Blood is based, not just for Ultra, no, uh, Ultra Kill, but for every game they made. What else have they made? I need to look that up. New Blood. I guess they're. I guess it's New Blood Interactive. Oh, they made. They published Dusk. Yeah, that checks out. The other game that they've published, which is like you know the kind of horror Doom clone game, that's also overwhelmingly positive. Also, Faith, they, yeah, that checks out. Yeah, okay, they've got, like, the best track record of, like, any dev so far. Every, like, everything they've published is just out of this world. I don't think I have, yeah, well, aside from, like, color... Oh, 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 oh. oh. Aside from, like, color changing, I don't think I have a use for points anymore. Good level. I haven't even played it yet. This is already a good level. Get out of here. Belmacy. Yep, good head. Nice head. I'm surprised. I need to play Dusk. I remember, like, I watched a few people play Dusk, and I was like, I like classic Doom. Why have I not played this? And then it just keeps, like, I keep forgetting about it every so often, which sucks, because I really want to play it. I really like Doom games. Haunted Mansion? Okay. Yeah. Excerpt from Ferryman's Diary. Some calamity has struck the mortal world. What was once the river Styx has now grown into an unfathomable ocean, a million weeping souls pouring in each day that the shores can barely contain, a tearful tide spilling over at the end. Bowed astern, crying for mercy, begging for safe passage, but not all souls can pay and these old hands can only take so many coins. And one day, the current shifted, wave after wave for minutes of... Wave after wave... For minutes on end of millions, billions, as though the throat of the world was cut wide and the head wrenched back to speed the poor. I didn't have any time to react. The weariness from my ceaselessness work claimed me and I slipped beneath the rolling sea. Nice. <laughs> Into the depths of the ocean sticks, my fate sealed by the crushing masses of endless bodies. Suddenly there was a light as brilliant as the Lord himself, ushering me from the darkness with mighty arms that held me with such compassion and warmth as I had never known. Be not afraid, sinner. Your devotion to God shows goodness in you. Plentiful indeed. The heart is willing, but the body must rest, lest, lest you squander one of the Lord's creations. His gentle words eased the pain and mended my wounds, my face wet with tears of relief, my words muffled by the weight of my duty. I could only lie in reverence, carried by the embrace of majesty. Radiant is Gabriel, for he is the light in my darkness. Alright, so this is just another Gabriel cult. Aw. Nope. Don't like that, Gabriel. How do you break that? Why the flamethrower guy? He's like the worst one to deal with. Why him? It can only be broken by melee, but I can't... I can't get in there. Or can I? Uh-oh! Lord's Protection wore off! Uh-oh! Goodbye, Mother Maria!
bad. Good. So these are all souls. Yep. Looking at it now. Oh, wait, hold on. Yeah, looking at it now. Oh, I now, I can kind of see the bodies in there. Maybe. I need to stop falling into it. Like that. Where's the red skull? Yeah, okay. Of course. Why would I not expect giant cruise liner? I touched it. I touched it. Where did you go? Honestly. Hold on. We're gonna try something. We're gonna try something stupid. Not that. <laughs> Who needs a red key? I don't need a red key. What are you crazy? All it takes is a little bit of self damage. You can get anywhere. Secret. Oh, that's the mega health secret. That's even better. One of those slam storage trick? What is slam storage? I am interested in that. What? Okay, so. Yeah, buddy? <laughs> Please go in the smokestack. Don't know why I didn't think of that. But you are right. I'm gonna call that cringe on my part. Alright, so inside smokestack. Probably gonna need to do a little bit of this. No, oh, wait, hold on. What the fuck are you? Hello? Hamther. Hamther. It's only in that one, too. Hamther. <laughs> I was gonna laugh if that immediately killed me. Pick him up? <gasps> I forgot you could do that! What the fuck's up, buddy? Hamther. <laughs> Slide down a wall, control within space, basically. So, like... Hold on. Did I do it? No, wait, hold on. I need to look at that. You do the ground pound near a wall, but you have to wall jump before you hit the ground. No. No. Was that it? Was that slam storage?
What the fuck was that? Slam, then jump immediately. Am I gaining height? Oh, that is useful. That is actually really useful. Come on, Hamster! Oh my god, it's Karen! Big fan! Look at that coin. Look at that coin. You like coins? I don't care. I don't care. I don't even care if I die. I got the parry. I guess that's kind of like the caveat, huh? If you do the skip, then you have to be kind of confident in yourself, otherwise you get transported back. All right, all right, fine, I'll go get the skull. Right, it's protected. Hamster. I use hook shot. That was like unnecessarily hype music playing while I'm just trying to get a skull. Issue! Put him down. Crap. All right, Hamster. I, I get him later. Good. Hamster! All right, Karen. What is that? What is that? What is that? Lightning? I love this. I don't even care. That's so cool. 
And yes, I am punching him with the hamster. I really like the idea of having the power weapon, aka the railgun, like a cooldown and not just like hard to find ammo. Do I get to go in the boat now? Yeah, it's whatever. It's a time waste. That's fine. <laughs> this is real machinist gameplay. I have access to like 8.0 from Final Fantasy 14. That's what this is. This is just real machinist gameplay. Don't fight the fairy man. I didn't know that was a hamster. Ah. Gabriel, why are you like an interactable object? Hello? No, you don't. Oh my, what's going on? Oh, there's a head. There's a fucking head. I love that. I will never get tired of seeing that coin. are like the worst enemy so far to deal with just because of how tanky they are. Like, I wouldn't even call Cerberus that bad. Or maybe it's just because I'm not using the nail gun enough. Why did that shoot so slowly? Oh, this really is, like, Doom-ass. How you do the challenge for that one is very clever. I want to know how I do that. 
I want to, like, not fight the fairy man. I think that'd be fun. And personally, he has done me no wrong. Honestly, like, thinking about it, this game is, like, almost pretty much beat for beat just like a more violent neon white. Because it is pretty much just like, okay. Uh, skip portions of the level. Because it's not about just killing the shit in a really cool way. It's also about doing the level fast. I have a... Can I have a seat at the table? so much. I need a counter. I need, like, a jar that I put, like, a dollar in every time I say that. Would help me save up money for the future. All right. Room secrets. Break all the pots. I thought that was increasing, like, my score beater for a second. Good. Angel bad. Well, since I've had this. Wait, no, what? Drill. Oh, this is the drill thing, right? It's so impressive just how the game gets better by me killing myself with an explosive. Definitely the highlight of my playthrough so far. It's also kind of shocking, like, the game, like, looks like it would be technically really difficult to understand, but yet so far, this is, like, really easy to play. Like, usually in, like, most movement games, it takes a fuckload to be able, like, to get really good at the movement. This feels like it's really easy to get the hang of, which I greatly appreciate.
I missed. I missed it. Ooh. <laughs> you Skeleton without a head. Rocket launcher? ROCKET LAUNCHER! <laughs> Time rocket launcher. Can you shoot the coin? I think. Yes. Whoa. Ooh. Fucked up and evil. I think we capsized. Direct hits cause explosions. Indirect hits will launch enemies. You made a rocket launcher? Take precision. You made a rocket launcher take precision. That's genius. Jump on the rocket, please. Oh my god, I can actually rocket jump now. I can rocket jump now. Like, for real. Haha, <laughs> you're wet. Right, immune to explosives. Forgot about that little caveat of you. They cannot block explosions while in the air. Shoot a rocket near them to launch them. Or I could just make them fall. Alright, no, yeah, I can't. I can't hit people in the air. I can't air shot people. Hello. I'm not gonna sit in the little room and fight you. What do you think I am, a bitch? Don't worry about it. Sometimes I get interrupted. If I stop moving, just assume that, like, I gotta talk to someone. Trust me. I've got, like, decent internet. I'm not just gonna, like, cut out and die, except for that one time that I did. If at any point you see me stop moving, it's not because- trust me, it's not your internet. It's just the fact that I have literally, like, I needed to stop moving. To talk to somebody. Talk cringe. It's our main method of communication as human beings. It's not cringe. It's not cringe. You're cringe. Buh. Don't touch any water. Oh my god.
Please don't tell me this one's also like, don't touch any water. Alright, this game now freaks me out. I don't like this. I don't like- I have a phobia of deep water. I hate this. Oh, I don't do- I don't like how- like, I don't like how this is. Ooh, I don't like this! Oh, never mind. I didn't parry any of that. Wait a second. I can parry that. I can parry that. That bite, I can parry that. That. I can I can parry that. Brain wants to parry that actually. Ooh, come on! I want to do it so bad. All right, so only a select few of those actually hit me. I want to do this so bad. Oh yeah, wait. Thank God I read chat. <laughs> Blues mean unparryable. That's not blue, though. That's not blue, though. That one was just me being bad. That one's just me being bad. I am so bad at parrying. All right. Well, it's not blue, but I'm also underneath it. So where does that put this? Never mind. Help. Help. Also, I am playing this on standard. I'm not doing highest, because I said I'd do second highest, and the second highest I had unlocked was standard.
good. Yes! Oh! I love video games. I love it. Can I eat the eyeball? Jump into the pit? I pop the eyeball in my mouth like I'm eating a fine meatball. I can just go. Reach the surface in under 10 seconds. That is so f I can do that. Heresy! So what do we have? Nothing. Just freeze frame. Oh! I think I will cry for the Weeper. Hey, I remember you. Except now my skills have gotten a little bit sharper there, old friend. I think you're literally the same guy, too, because I don't think you have... Yeah, you're missing two arms. Does this heal? That would have been cool. I'm just saying, that would have been cool. Icon of Sin? Ah! I see! Except now I don't, because now I'm fucking blind as a bat! Oh, you're still alive. Yes! Best level, best song later on. I'm guessing, like, the second part of this. AKA, like, what I'm assuming to be, like, Gabriel Part 2. Can I just, like... Alright, checkpoint. Bad face. Bad face. Good. So the enemies get enraged if they're, like, left alive for too long. At least from what I can guess. Red key. Red key go up? No, I've been here. It doesn't go there. Where's the red key go? Just virtue. Ah. Well, I have this. I don't think I should go this way. I should find some place to put this, right? I saw the podium. No, that's where I got it from. I guess I'll just go this way. Okay. Okay.
Yeah, you know what? Maybe this is kind of cool. Maybe it's like a, a little bit cool. Like 2%, like 2% cool. All right, who's up next? Who am I missing? Oh, you're still up. What just happened? I killed like one guy and got like the entire bar. What is going on? My poor brain. I mean, I never, I never like took care of it to begin with. But now it is absolutely never recovering. As far as I care, this is my peak. This is the peak of everything. All right, now hold on. You gotta go. There's a song in this game with seven guitarists. Machine, I know you're here. I. I can smell the insolent stench of your blood-stained hands. I await you down below. Come to me. Literally obsessed with me. You want to fuck me so bad it makes you look stupid. Am I grappled? All right, where'd he go? I don't think you're the same guy that like just tried to rush me. I think that's you. Thank you, coin. I love you, coin. Okay! Biz Beat the secret encounter. Well, Gabriel. Lingo, lust, all gone. With gluttony soon to follow. Your kind know nothing but hunger. Purged all life on the upper layers, and yet they remain. 
remain unsatiated. Master. You've taken everything from me, machine. But now, all that remains is perfect hatred. I mean, yeah, you can use the grappling hook if you're not good at rocket jumping. You know, if you're like a coward or something. If you're some kind of, like, small gamer. Hey, what's up, buddy? Machine. Oh, sorry. I will cut you down. Break you apart. Can I play? Slay the core of your profane form across the stars. I want to play the organ. Grind you down until the very sparks cry for mercy. My hands shall relish, ending you here and now. Okay, but I don't think I asked. Do it again. Finally! I need to parry that. No, you won't! You got that back, buddy! This is fantastic. Gabriel's getting into it now. I love this. I love this. I am. Right, blues can't be parried. I keep trying to parry the blues. I keep thinking everything is parryable. That's so tight. You're getting rusty, machine. That's the best you got. <laughs> no. I love this so much. I love you, Gabriel. I now see why people are like, yo, body pillow? Time to think. We will meet again, machine. Bye. Be your woes and your days few. <laughs> I'm not reading my glasses. <laughs> Gabriel into the ceiling. I almost did that. 
I was so- I was like a pikel short. Silence. Introspection. How many had he killed? Had he ever thought to count? How much cruelty did he embody, and to what end? How many did he condemn to hell, and who did it benefit? Two defeats at the hands of the machine had changed Gabriel. The world of the once supposed will of God was now shattered, and he was only left to put the pieces back together. They collected before the light of a dying fire that fresh fuel couldn't sustain. This new light showing the truth to Gabriel. The pieces never fit together to begin with. The supposed council of the people who boasted a god that wasn't there. Gone. Banished. The council still chased after the light of god's fire, their memory of its words and will grown twisted and warped, and the rest of the aimless masses of heaven follow their footsteps. The angels still act in the Father's name, but his kingdom has changed. Now the fire was dying, sputtering out as the heat failed to gain purchase. Gabriel looked upon the embers with a perfect clarity. He drew his blade and held it in contrast to the dying light. In its reflection, he saw a weapon reborn, no longer wielded by the will of another, but his own. He knew words alone would never sway the masses. He chose to do something drastic. Death stains the auditorium. The littered corpses of the once mighty council now strewn against its surface, their last gasps of life dripping down the dissident blade of Gabriel's sword. The last counselor, now backed up to a wall, scrambles for words between panicked breaths as death approaches with measured steps. Wait! You, you can't do this! Our status forbids it! This is treason, heresy, murder! We are the supreme authority, our law commands you! command nothing. Your words hold no power over me or anyone else. Lest you truly believe you can talk my blade back into its sheath. But the people are on our side. The citizens of heaven know that we are just. The masses only follow you out of fear and desperation. I will show them there is nothing to be afraid of, for there is no species nor origin, vested rank or holy status that will stop the sharp edge of a sword. We all bleed the same blood and the cushions of your thrones have made you weak and, and, and impotent. But please, Gabriel, see reason. The council follows the will of the Father. You seek to go against our create? Face it, brother. God is dead. The fire is gone. You're chasing phantoms. Gabriel's silhouette now towers over the counselor, his shadow cast upon a soon lifeless corpse. He raises his sword for the final cut as the crying mess on the floor stammers out its fight... Final feeble argument! But, but Father's light! Without me, you cannot hope to reconnect with it. If you kill me, you'll, you'll be dead in a matter of hours. I know. A clean, silent cut glides through the counselor's neck, severing his spine with elegance and ease. His head falls to the marble floor, the rest of his body following soon after. Bereft of status, but brimming with purpose, Gabriel gave a final message to the angels amassed at the gates of the auditorium before leaving heaven for the very last time. His arms outstretched without a word, the people saw. In the silence, the message rang out to the far ends of the cosmos. Holy shit! Well, I'm begging you to freeze a rocket and jump onto it. There's still a shit ton of secrets to find. I hope you do them on stream. Okay, so the secrets. Honest to God, I do just kind of want to play Ultra Kill again, so I might just do them on Monday. Like, this game is really fucking fun. This is so good. It's short, but at the same time, this is so good. This is so fucking good.
Uh, so, whoever voted on Ultra Kill in the poll, I literally owe you my life. Thank you so much. This game is amazing. Uh, so let's see. Who's live right now? Okay, we're gonna go, we're gonna go to Max. Are you happy you lost your bet? I'm, a, I'm, I am ecstatic that I lost my bet. All right, so this is my friend Max. She's playing Final Fantasy XIV. Literally everybody I'm following right now is playing Final Fantasy XIV. Thank you all for being here for Ultra Kill. Go there, show her some love, or don't. Just be nice to her. I'll see you on Monday when I continue to uh, secret hunt in Ultra Kill. Thanks for watching my brain melt for about four hours.